What it is, what it do, Z Double C Crew, she boy Zeddy Chunk Chunk, and we are back again with another banger for you guys today. What kind of banger this is? Some up bang! <laughs> Today, you guys see I'm in a different location. This is not my normal setup because I'm at the homie's crib. Jamil, without Kristen. <laughs> without Kristen. So is this our, no, no, we had a solo collab. We did, this is we the had, second one. We had the Hispanic spot. Or now it was like a Chipotle, whatever kind yeah. of ordeal. Yeah, yeah. Uh, modern Mexican. Yep. But yep. Uh, today, I decided to bring your taste buds to my hometown. Right on. And we're doing an Italian beef, Chicago style, with Chicago style hot dogs and pizza puffs. That sounds good. It that is. sounds really good. This is, this is one of my favorite meals. Yeah. Uh, so let's get a prayer real quick and let's uh, then let's dive in. Let's do it. Father God, I want to thank you for this food that we're about to receive in our body. And I ask that you do please bless this food in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's All eat. Right. So, the, yeah. so when's the first time you had an Italian beef? So the first time I had one was actually recent, probably within the last, I think it's been four years. Let me four show you all this. You yeah. want to show me your Italian yeah. beef too? Oh. Let's take a look. I don't know if Ooh, we have to hide our faces. Oh, yeah, maybe a little bit. It's Just your good. eyes. Ah. And it should zoom mm -hmm. in. Yeah, these, these things are good, too. Mm -hmm. mm. This is always a messy eater. We just got ours wet or dipped. Mm hmm. Yo, know, that's the thing. I have tried this before. Mm hmm. Um, you know, I've always had this, like I said, the last four years I've tried it, mm -hmm. but I've only had it wet for the first time when I come out to Vegas. Mm. Mm. Ooh. It's spicy. I know. It's yeah, spicy. <laughs> or I probably just went down up and around the pipe. Oh, yeah. Now, pizza puffs. Pizza puffs. <laughs> I know I had to taste a bite of one. Yep. Boom. Oh, well, you good? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I probably went down the wrong pipe. Mm -hmm. But uh, you never had a full piece of puff yourself. Ne I never even heard of it until you told mm -hmm. us about it. Chicago. I was, I know. Chicago food. <laughs> See, I always be bragging about the Bay Area and how all the stuff the Bay got. But, you know, Chicago, uh, the one thing Chicago that got that the Bay will never have but, is food. Uh -huh. Chicago definitely got the food. I was, I was just going to ask you, what do you think of Chicago food in general? You not being from there, I do believe, oh yeah, they are one of the top contenders for best cities for food. No doubt. If I had to, just based off of food, from what I know, if I had to live in one city mm -hmm. uh, for food, it would be Chicago. Mm. Like, I, I don't, you know, I haven't been to like a lot of different states, mm -hmm. but like, you know, all the food places, you know, in Vegas, out here, or New York, Chicago, I would be Chicago. Mm. Every time. I love the food. I'm not gonna lie, man. Mm -hmm. It's 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 amazing. Never heard, thought you'll admit that. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely don't have a problem admitting the food bar because mm -hmm. it's obvious, man. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. you can't beat some. You can't really beat the food out there. Mm. Uh, we we uh, have some extra hot juice sauce to dip in there. Mm -hmm. oh. Also got some Southside Mild in the background too. Dip fries and stuff in. Yep. But this right here, though. This hot dog, mm -hmm. to me, this is what That's, this is what Chicago's all about for me. Mm -hmm. I love these hot dogs. Yeah, I love regular hot dogs, I, but Chicago dogs are some of the best. Right? Are you a person to put a? Uh, you like ketchup on your hot dogs? I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you feel like you miss it though in a Chicago dog? I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't because there's so much stuff going on in there. I don't need it. Mm -hmm. In fact, I've had it. Where I added Chicago one of the first times I had it, or had to catch up the one of the first times I had one of these, mm -hmm. and it didn't taste as good. Mm. You need to have it without it, in my opinion. Mm. How's that? It's amazing. Mm -hmm. And this place, they make them, mm, they make them, to me, at the quality I've had in Chicago, they mm -hmm. make them just about that good. Oh, yeah. I met the owner, uh, actually, at that location we went to. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. He looked like a, a Polish guy. Oh, really? Uh, and then, uh, yeah, but uh, he said, yeah, he's from Chicago. Mmm. So that makes sense. Born and raised. Mm-hmm. That's why his food's that good. Mm-hmm. That makes a lot of sense. So, I know you haven't been to, you haven't had the uh, Portillo's in a minute. Mm-hmm. And Portillo's, you know, Chicago staple when it comes to Italian beefs and things like that. But from what you do remember, is this almost on par, right? Mm -hmm. Of of with Chicago. So it's hard for me to say stuff about because um, I have heroes out here, mm -hmm. and 
Uh, what's my first? My first time having Harold's was with you guys. First time, yeah. Out here, yeah. I think that was my first time having Harold's. That's right. And um, it was. Uh, I, it tasted amazing. Man. It did. Huh? But there's some a girl I know out here in Chicago. I mean, not in Chicago, in Vegas. She was born and raised in Chicago too. Yeah. She was actually raised there for a long because I only stayed in Chicago as ten. But yep. she was telling me that Harold's out here was trash. Yeah. Yeah. And that's crazy. Hey, because I remember telling you this, and you're like, well, yeah. if that's trash, I, I, I need to go to Chicago. Because I wonder how much better could the Harold's be? Seriously, yeah. man. Yeah, no, nah, I was saying in the last video, I've had a lot of fried chicken from a lot of different places, homemade, everything. That was some of the best I'd ever had. Mm -hmm. And that's out here. So And that was like yeah. us taking it home, taking a minute to mm -hmm. to, to set up and eat, you know? Mm-hmm. But I do gotta say something too. Mm -hmm. You know, on the West Coast, and if you live in the West Coast, don't come for me. <laughs> I feel like when it comes to like certain foods, like fried chicken and things like that, like we don't have that down in the West Coast like they do, like maybe in the South or Midwest or certain places yeah. like that. Oh, you said the West Coast. Okay, I thought you yeah. said Midwest. I think the chicken is fire. Oh know? no, no, yeah, exactly. Like Midwest and South, I feel like. Y'all got a lot of things down when it comes to like chicken, pizzas, and a lot of other things. Mm -hmm. Like, cause I've had a lot of fried chicken out in the West Coast, and it's good, but Harold's was just on another level, mm -hmm. dude. See, I was thinking it was just gonna be like some regular chicken I've had mm -hmm. before. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. It was on point. Yeah, that was really on point. So, yep. When it comes to this, like facing Portillos, mm -hmm. cause well, another thing too is cause I haven't had Portillos in Chicago in a while. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is because I feel like, and I, I don't want nobody coming for me for saying this, but mm -hmm. eating Portillo's in Chicago is to get an Italian beef, there's so many great places to get an Italian beef. That the Portillo's in Chicago is a McDonald's. You know, yeah, that's a McDonald's yeah. for Italian beef. That makes sense. And it's yeah. not that it's bad because yeah. I like McDonald's. You know what I mean? McDonald's do taste good. <laughs> yeah, but it's just like... Uh, you want to go to an original yeah. like a uh, spot for us for some Italian beefs instead of getting it from the chain restaurant. You know? Yeah, I mean that's kind of like equivalent to like in my opinion, me being a tourist going to Chicago, mm -hmm. I'm probably gonna go to Portillo's. Yeah, because everybody knows about it, everyone loves it. Mm -hmm. You know, but you're right. If you live there, I guess it makes sense. You're gonna know there's probably places that probably taste better than Portillo's. Mm -hmm. So that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But um, actually. I was recently showing someone, talking about Italian beef. they asked me, what is that? I showed them, they were like, oh, I just looks like a Philly cheesesteak. Mm. I'm like, this is far from it. <laughs> um, Philly cheesesteaks have nothing on Italian beef. Do you yeah. think? Which oh, you really? Think you think Phillies are better? I can't go yeah, with that. Yeah, you yeah. think Phillies are better than Italians? I do. I can't I go do. with that. <laughs> That's actually a hard one, and it's a sensitive one for me. I do got to admit. But I do got to give it to Philly, man. I gotta, mm. I love cheesesteaks, though. Mm. But I'm biased, though. I really think that... I, I feel like it's so plain with flavor. You think it's a little plain? Mm -hmm. It is consistent. So you love peppers. Mm. Well, Phillies have pepper, too, depending on where you go. But I feel like these have a little bit more peppers. You know what I mean? Mm. But I, for me, I, I love Philly cheesesteaks, man. I'll eat them all the time, mm. all day long. I, I, I love them. Christmas. Do you have a favorite Philly spot out here? You know, I've only been to, I've only been to two. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them was really good. Mm -hmm. It was called, <coughs> excuse me, them peppers mm -hmm. getting me too. Mm -hmm. It was called uh, Straight from Philly. Uh -huh. Have you heard about that place? Mm -mm. So they used to own Pops Phillies, which is really popular out here. Mm -hmm. Pops is, I think, the most popular Philly place out here. I, I believe so in Vegas. Anyways, they used to own it, but then they they um, sold it or whatever. They opened another one called Straight from Philly, but that one, to me that one was good. They're they're like more authentic. And then I've been to Jersey Mike's, and this sounds bad, but Jersey Mike's is really good, man. It was almost better. It wasn't as good as Straight from Philly, but oh, it, oh. it was almost. I, on I don't level. know why I thought you were about to compare it to Italian beefs. <laughs> oh. No, I can't go for that. I think it better. No, it's you're it. crazy. I know. It you're you're like being it. serious. I'm dead serious. <laughs> I like them better. So okay, so okay, so if you had to choose a restaurant, <laughs> yep, to that like, get free food from, yep. you're choosing Jersey Mike's or Windy City. Free food for the rest of your life. Which oh, one? okay, that's a good one. I think I'm still. That's crazy. You're not gonna like me after this. One. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't never gonna have me in a chat after this one. I really think, 
man, I gotta go Jersey Mike's on this, man. I know. I, I gotta go. I gotta go Jersey Mike's on this. Pizzas. Okay, I'm Italian crazy. beef. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. Fries, chicken. Okay, I'm crazy. I, I didn't think about pizza that. puffs. <laughs> You're nuts. <laughs> okay, I didn't think about. You know what I was thinking? I didn't think about the pizza. Uh-huh. <laughs> pizza is my favorite food. It is. It's my favorite food. Mm. So because of that. You're right. I gotta go. I gotta go. Windy City every time. Did you um, yeah. grow up eating a lot of pizzas or somewhere? Mm. One of the first words I learned how to spell. It was. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> um. Between that, and I actually didn't have it a lot when I was younger at all. Mm-hmm. My mom always cooked, so we never really ate out much. Mm. And she never made pizzas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I don't remember like the first time I had it, but I do remember every time I had it, loving it that yeah. much. And then when I found out about Chicago style, you know, mm-hmm. deep dish pizzas, it was over. So let me ask you, what is your favorite style of pizza though? Deep dish. Over at uh, New York? Said over New York. I don't, well, I never had New York, but mm-hmm. in my opinion, what is New York? I just feel like if it's if it's floppy, it's a New York visa. Yeah, it's kind of if it's uh, floppy and thin. <laughs> I think what it is, it it is the floppiness. You know what I mean? Uh huh. But it's it's how apparently it's like I think it's how it's made, or maybe it's the water that they use for the dough. Because I know it's a big part of the bagel is the water out there. So I think it's that that's what makes water. it. Yeah, something mm. with the water mm. it actually makes like the bagels taste different. And I'm assuming it's the same with the pizza. That sounds crazy. Oh, that no. sounds like a mess. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a mess. It's in the water. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but that's what at least that's what they say, you know. But uh, but that's what I heard, you know. Mm. So I'm drinking mm. this Coke spiced, mm-hmm. and I was thinking it's gonna be spicy. Oh yeah. I don't know. It's giving. I feel like it's like it tastes like a Christmas Coke. That's the best okay. way I could describe it. I don't know. Like it's a Christmas flavored drink. I never had a Christmas Coke. Oh, well, I never had a Christmas Coke, but that's a. Oh, that seems cool. like a holiday Coke. I don't know. I see what you're saying because mm. it does have like it's not spicy mm. hot, but it's spicy as far as like flavor. Nah. There's like something else going I on. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's in it. But then also, this is zero sugar too. So yes. it's more fizz than usual. That's true. <clears throat> That's a good point. Would you be able to tell the zero sugar before uh, from a, a normal one? Oh yeah, hundred percent. Without no, without uh, looking at the sign or anything. This yeah, I, I would know. I say hundred percent, but mm. we did a taste test. I failed. <laughs> Kristen, I, I don't know. I didn't know the difference between Pepsi or Coke. Apparently, mm. <laughs> I think I would be able to know the difference. Mm. I think so. I'm pretty sure I would. Mm. But I wanted to ask you though. When it comes to Italian beefs versus, I, I guess, really any other thing. Maybe some pizzas, hamburgers, you know, common American type of foods, I would say. Mm-hmm. Even over, like, fried chicken. Is, is the Italian mm-hmm. beef, is that the one for you? Like, you know what I mean? That's crazy over fried chicken. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay. So not over fried chicken. Mm-hmm. But, um, uh huh. Over pizza, yes. And stuff like that. So, I ain't going to lie. Italian beef is something that you can get. I feel like it's something you could get tired of. Yeah. 100%. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, over fried chicken. Fried chicken, I don't know if that's something you can get tired of. Mm-hmm. You got to eat it every single day. Yeah. I, I feel like I can have fried chicken at least twice a week. Oh, you could. I mean, I feel, well, I can have this. I can have Italian beef twice. But I feel like I can eat fried chicken more within a week than I could eat Italian beef. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you could... So re- that's interesting because... I think for me, fried chicken might get a little tired after like the second day, but I guess it depends. You know what I mean? Yeah. It depends on. I guess it depends on the palate or whatever. So you you could do fried chicken every day. You prefer that essentially over the the, the Italian beef, then. Yeah, yeah, when but it comes to regular foods and stuff. Chicago fried chicken. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, that's true. Yeah. You want to try this pizza puff? Yeah, let's do it. Let's rip it down the middle. I don't know. Yeah. Well, actually, no, it don't seem that hot. Yeah. I'm just gonna take a bite. You can take a bite. Let's do it. I'll do the same. Cheers. Let's do it. Oh, you doing what I did? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, cool down. Mm-hmm. This is good though, you guys. Look hey, you're a uh, mm. you're a pizza puff guy. I yeah. mean, not pizza puff. You're a pizza, pizza guy. person. Uh-huh. So, what do you think of this as a pizza person? So, I like it because it's got a lot of that sauce and stuff in there. Mm-hmm. 
Um, but I'm gonna be honest. Mm -hmm. I love it. Mm -hmm. But if I had to choose between this, a slice of pizza, I'm going for the pizza mm -hmm. because I like pepperoni. Mm -hmm. I like all the other stuff they have in it. Mm -hmm. So it's good. It's really, really mm -hmm. good. But it's not quite on a pizza. If they're like. selling this at a grocery store in boxes, would you buy this? Oh, hands down. Mm -hmm. yeah, I wish they did. Mm -hmm. Hands down, I would. Yeah. They sell them in Chicago. They do. Mm -hmm. They need them out here, man. Because mm -hmm. I would, I would one hundred percent buy these. Yeah, I would definitely buy these all the time. Mm. And it's, it's like an oversized pizza roll, mm -hmm. but it tastes better, way better. Really yeah, pizza roll. It remind me of just a really good. Uh, what is some? Um, is it calzones? Or? Yeah, not the calzones, mm -hmm. but the. Um, I can't even think of the name of the things in the freezers. Mm. You know when you hot pocket, hot pocket. That's what it is. <laughs> hot pocket. Man, I can't even think. Mm -hmm. it remind me of a really good hot pocket. You know what I mean? So that's yeah, that shit tastes good, man. Overall, mm -hmm. Chicago man, yeah, just do it. So where do you put it as far as like out here in Vegas, mm -hmm. Houston? Chicago, where's Chicago on your list? Oh, that's number one for food, yeah. Chicago number one, mm -hmm. huh? Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Um, mm -hmm. Chicago number one city for food. Mm -hmm. Houston number one city for suburb life. Mm -hmm. And Vegas is number one city for turn up life. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> mm -hmm. But don't come down here if you have uh, vices. <laughs> Definitely, uh, yeah. Definitely can give you run for your money. Honestly, though, yeah. I loved like I, I was. I've been telling. I was talking to someone. I'm just like it's literally impossible to be bored out here. If you're yeah. bored in Vegas, you're a boring person. Like yeah, it's because you right. choose to be bored. You know, hundred percent. Because you know, I think one of the things is like out here, right? In most states, right? Most cities and stuff like that. The uh, the uh, tourist stuff. It's always off the hook. It's always really good. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But for the locals, there's not a lot to do. Mm -hmm. There's like one bar, you know, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But out here for the locals, it's just as much yeah. as the tourist stuff. Mm -hmm. So you're absolutely right about that. Like, you'll never be bored out here yeah. unless you just decide to, you know? Because this place, I mean, Vegas is like community type. You know what I mean? It's one of the places yeah. like, like, they're like a strong community. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of places like that. You know I mean? And they got the hashtag big and strong. Yeah. You know, which was crazy. I never knew this was this had the biggest mass massacre in history, you know? Oh. Was it the biggest one? Yeah, in history. That's crazy. In US history, this was the biggest uh, mass shooting. That's crazy. That was the uh the one at the um Mandalay Bay at the Yeah, and that's how they got the uh, awesome. biggest strong uh, hashtag. Oh, that's how that started. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. I, you know, I don't know why, but I thought there was one that could have been bigger, like for early 1900s, but damn, it was, wow, that's crazy. Vegas in American history. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. They also had the one in um, in Kansas City recently, too. Oh, yeah. That wasn't like, that wasn't Casey, as big, though. yeah. You How know? did it feel for the 49ers to lose? No, oh, man. <laughs> We're not going there. This dude <laughs> was bragging all night. Uh, Can I tell him about what you did really quick? Yeah, I gotta tell what, him what, what you I did. <laughs> this dude, t okay. So during the game, we watching it, enjoying it, it, it. You know, the Niners were they were winning, so you know I was bragging and stuff like that. Yeah. I, I was I was bragging, and you know he was he was he was like, all right, just watch, just uh -huh. watch, just watch. And then he started saying later on, like towards the end, like. He's like, I just see it now. Kansas City's gonna win, mm -hmm. and I'm like, Nah, nah, they're not gonna win. He's like, It's written. Nah. Oh yeah, it's written. I remember that. It's written. It started. Mind you, I was drunk that day. <laughs> <laughs> it was. And then, uh, <laughs> yeah, man. And, and then at the last quarter, last minute, they won. He's jumping up, excited, bragging, and ah, oh, man, it felt it felt terrible. And honestly, it's terrible. I'm glad I was in. I was off strip because mm -hmm. there's a lot of Bay fans on the strip. Yeah. Because in general. Uh, yeah, Vegas has a lot of Bay people who live here. Yep, yeah. And then also, people, and then it happened in Vegas, and people coming to visit Ooh, for it. It was just what? A, how far is that drive? Eight hours. Mm -hmm. but, so, uh -huh. LA mm -hmm. went five hours. Uh huh. So, I guarantee you there's a lot of fans from in that are in LA oh, yeah. too. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So. I'm glad I was on the strip acting up because there's people who were. And when, when the Bay was score, everybody oh, was cheering. Everybody was, yeah. Literally, I probably had, it was me and two other guys yep. <laughs> when KC would score. Mm -hmm. Mind you, let me just say this too. I'm yeah. not a KC or a Bay fan. It's just I wanted the KC to win. 
What was my reason for them? I know what the reason was. It's because you wanted to brag. No, well, was, <laughs> what was my reasoning for wanting KC well, to win? I think you said... Oh, black quarterback, Patrick Mahomes. Um, oh, because yeah. he's on level to be uh, Tom yeah, Brady go, 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 uh, status. You mm-hmm. know? Mm-hmm. And... Um, so that was the only reason. Otherwise, I really don't care for either of the teams. I, if I wanted any to win, it would either be Bears or Packers, even though those two most polar opposites. That's not true. Right. We've been rooting for all the teams. <laughs> the Warriors, we want the Warriors to win. He hate the Warriors. Mm-hmm. We want the Niners to win. <laughs> he hate the Niners. No, I didn't no, want no. the Warriors this side. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they went Super Saiyan with, with Kevin Durant. Oh, yeah. You guys yeah, cheated. Yeah. That's literally cheating. <laughs> you guys literally decided to go ahead and cheat for you. Hey, he just wanted to come to our team. It's, was that the year you guys had the best record? No, that was the uh, the second year after. So we had the best record, and then we lost. And then K, uh, um, KD mm. came after mm. that. So, But, yeah. But with the Niners thing, you're right about that. Being on the strip would have been all bad because mm-hmm. I know everybody, majority of people were Niners fans yeah. out there. But it was still a good game. Though. I liked it, even though they lost. You know, but it was a good game. I'm surprised they didn't get jumped at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> I know because that was definitely drunk too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you know what's crazy is mm-hmm. like, man, during the Super Bowl, you guys, people were betting heavy too. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, there was one guy. Yeah, he was right next to me. Yeah, and I know I was. Going crazy with shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. He ended up walking off. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was talking to the guy's next to him. And mm-hmm. it's like, yeah, he lost, like, I forgot how much. Like, 2,000. 3 bands. 3,000. 3 bands. Okay. No. No, it was way more than that. I don't know. I forgot what, how much it was. I know it was a couple of thousand. It was like, it was like three or 5,000. Yeah. It was, I, and, it, like and they're like, yeah, he, so I'm like, oh, snap. Yeah. I felt bad. <laughs> you know, one thing, though. I was uh, I was talking to this dude at the fast food about this, not this situation, but about like betting on your teams and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I got to be honest, like, and <laughs> y'all tell me what you think about this. Mm-hmm. I feel like if you're, you know, just because your team's in the Super Bowl and you want them to win, mm-hmm. don't mean you got to bet uh-huh. on them. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, like. I think it was hectic going against Mahomes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't bet on him. I didn't bet on at all. But yeah, I, yeah, I thought have. you guys wanted to bet. I would, and I would have bet on Kansas City. <laughs> well, bet him made a bet. Oh, yeah. And I won my bet. <laughs> I had to do some push ups. But what I was going to say, though, is yeah. Um, yeah, I'm surprised you weren't interested in betting. You, well, if you did bet, you would have went KC? Oh, 100%. Why do you, so you didn't have faith from your team from the get go. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have faith. Let me tell you something about me. I'm a bandwagon fan. <laughs> and I'm proud of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because what I do is I don't watch no football all year. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, I'm way. And the Niners make it. I'm rooting for them. Yeah, you know what I mean? I'm so the way. At the end of the day, you know, I can say this as a bandwagon fan. But if you're a real fan, you know, I, I guess I guess you got to hold true. And you got to bet on your team. You know what I mean? Live with them or die with them, right? That's kind of the Man, way you Man, you know how much faith you got to have to bet five bands. You know what I'm saying? I know that had been the worst day. <laughs> He's kind of feeling like how I'm feeling right now. Yeah. Oh, what's I, up? I, I don't know if I didn't mention you. I, I know I didn't mention you guys yet. ZCC family coming to Jamil's house. <laughs> I cracked my phone. Oh, yeah. Dropped my phone. Yep. Notice I'm ha- no, I noticed things happening around. Remember my, <laughs> my staircase? Oh no! That <laughs> staircase, dude. And now that my phone. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Chris and it's me. It's then my like, toe. <laughs> oh, what happened to your toe? You went. Remember, oh, when we were doing the video. <laughs> oh, you guys at the beginning. Everything cracks around the bill. <laughs> <laughs> One of the videos, you guys, we got these chairs, and I was scooting it over, and I landed on his small toe, yeah, pinky like toe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you don't want to think about it. <laughs> that was, that pinky was all toe bad. sensitive every time I sit over here. So it was all bad. But um, no. But, but the thing about me though is, yeah. Whenever like that, would, honestly, my phone really missed me. But and it's my fold phone. It wasn't my iPhone. If it was my iPhone, I'd be like, okay, whatever. Yeah, it's my fold. So I'm really pissed about that. Yeah. So, and, and then the fold. This is a high tech phone, so it costs so much more to to replace it. And it's the outer screen. Yeah. And what we're looking at was like three hundred bucks. Yeah. Three to five hundred, no, dude. It was. It was three to six hundred. Three to six hundred. Three to six hundred. I'm pretty sure for that one because it's the particular screen that was broke mm. too. That's crazy, and it's it's expensive. These definitely things get expensive. So, 
But one thing about me is I don't dwell on nothing. Whenever yeah. I take an L, I just try to move on from it. I feel it. But you know what? I mean, it's a bad day. It sucks. Ain't my fault. <laughs> if you want to talk about stuff that's my fault, I got bad luck. What's that? I got bad luck. And maybe this will feel, make you feel better. Mm-hmm. I was thinking about this earlier today. Yeah. Because we were, uh, and you were talking about the um, coming out here with vices and stuff. Mm-hmm. You got to watch out because the gambling and stuff can really pull you in. Mm-hmm. Maybe this will make you feel better about bad luck. <laughs> wow. uh, we went to... Chris and I came out here years ago. We mm-hmm. came out here, uh, you know, to Vegas and, you know, was chilling and stuff like that. Yeah. And we, we love to gamble and stuff like that. Slots mainly. That's kind of our thing. And most of the time we, you know, we lose. Sometimes we kind of win a little bit. Mm-hmm. But there was one trip where we came out here and we killed it. Oh, wow. Killed it. We okay. were here for seven days. And... Every time we were putting money in the slot machine, majority of the time, we were we were coming up a little bit. Okay. And we were doing the right thing. We were pulling out the money mm. so we didn't like keep going and losing the okay. stuff. And we were hitting. We were on fire. Do you know how much you're up? Uh, we were up 2500 2500 I think we might have started with three or with an extra five. So I think we were 3000 overall, but we were up. I'm sorry, we were up fifteen hundred. Okay. And we started with three thousand. So we had fifteen hundred to gamble and we came up an extra fifteen hundred. Okay. So we were doing good. We were right. good at the end of the trip, you guys. Normally we were doing trips and we were like, Oh, we're just gonna lose our money, not a big deal. But in the trip we had three thousand dollars, which paid for the whole trip. Mm. So we were like, Good, right? And that was so seven days. That was seven days. Uh-huh. This was on Saturday. We leave on Sunday, right? Okay. We're packing up, getting ready to go, go down to the lobby, yeah. you know, going to get our car and stuff like that. And I was like, and that's why I got to blame me for this, yeah. not Kristen. I was like, I was like, let's give him a little bit. Yeah. I was like, let's give him, let's throw, let's throw a little money in there <laughs> uh-huh. just to have some fun. Long story short, you guys, we lost all the money that we profited and we lost the money that we came there with. So we so lost three bands. We lost three bands in, I think it was two hours. The uh, only reason why we stopped, you guys, the only reason why we stopped gambling is because all four of our cards got declined. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we started putting the, you know what I mean? Cause, I would have been sick. <laughs> so wait, so <laughs> wait, so wait. So you lost all three. Yeah. And you guys still wanted to go back. And get more. Oh, money. we I were trying. Too. We were trying. So you guys went back, and, so, and then it was the con. <laughs> so what made you? What What was your mindset after you lost it all? And you're like, we can win it. We're like, we can still win it. You win it back. You know, it's crazy because you hear it on TV. You hear people talk about it. You think you're gonna win it back. That's what your mind says. Your mind says, give me one bonus, and I'm gonna get all that money back. And it never That's happens nuts. like that. So okay, so when you got down to the first, okay. Yeah. After all right, so you came up fifteen hundred. Yeah, you had three band, fifteen hundred spin came up fifteen hundred. So mm-hmm. three band. Yep. After gambling the last day. Yeah. After losing five hundred bucks, yeah. you weren't thinking, nah, baby, let's just stop. No, we weren't thinking that at all. <laughs> we weren't thinking that because, I, from what I remember, uh-huh. when we were putting it in, we lost like five hundred or something, and we were like, we're still up. It's all good. We can put a little more in, and then we were doing machines where they weren't. They weren't even. Acting like they were gonna give us anything. Yeah. They were just hitting and we were doing max bet. That's like three to five dollars on some of these machines. We were just da 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 da. They were yeah. just taking everything. There's so do you you don't think there's not one point in time like in during that fifteen hundred, you're like, let's go, let's just <laughs> Was there not one point? <laughs> Knowing me, no, there was no <laughs> point. But I guarantee you, because I don't remember, uh-huh. I guarantee Kristen was saying that. Mm-hmm. Kristen was like, let's just leave. Yeah. And I was like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Not till we get our money so back. You think you're- All right, you guys, the videos uh, cut out. Yeah. We were talking about a lot too. I know. It cut out like, <laughs> we were talking for at least a good five, 10 more minutes. But yeah. just to wrap up, the last thing that we we're saying though was yeah. okay, so you spent the money. Yep. I mean, yeah, three bears yep. out down the drain. Yeah. And then you guys were just visiting Vegas. We were just visiting. So just, so that means you weren't living here yet. Not yet. Yeah. And how far was the drive from Vegas to the Bay? Yes, we had a nine-hour drive after that. Nine hours, dude. That was... I'm like thinking back to that time. It was miserable, man. So was it? Was, how was the car ride? Was it silent? A hundred percent. We So the first uh-huh. half... like Not first half, but a good like hour or two... Mm-hmm. We were just silent, you know what I mean? Like, and we talk all the time. When we do long car rides, we talk the whole time. Yeah. So that's a big deal. But we were silent because 
you know, you can't believe what happened. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. You can't believe what happened. And and um, I, I think one of the things is, um, I think one of the things is like Kristen luckily never blamed me for it. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh-huh. Even though it was my fault. Uh-huh. But I, you know, I think that's part of the reason why I was silent because yeah. I was like, how, you know, what am I supposed to say? Yeah. Man. And were you thinking like, I did you ever think like, man? Because whenever you lose money in gambling, yeah. you think about all the stuff you, that money could have really went to. Mm. I could have paid this off. Could have yes. paid that off. I could have yes. did this. That's what happens yeah. to me. Same yeah. thing. <laughs> right away, too. Like, I literally think I could have done this with the money, this with the money. Yeah. I haven't been having those regrets. Sometimes we're going out to eat. I'm, I'm about, <laughs> I went to uh-huh. Old Red. Oh, you did? And, That's uh, right. Uh, the new country bar. Literally, oh, yeah. two nachos. Yeah. Appet- these are appetizer meals. Yeah. And one drink. Oh, man. It came out to 70 bucks. You're kidding me. Like, no. And doesn't that sound not Say that out oh, loud. It sounds even crazy. more nuts. It was 60, well, it was 60 bucks plus tip. I dumped the tip. Yeah. I yeah. Like 10, $12 tip. That's crazy. Se- two nachos and a drink, you said? Two nachos. One drink. But let's be specific. <laughs> one drink and two nachos. Nothing extra. That's crazy. Nothing extra. But see, that's them trying to make their money back as soon as they open. You know what I mean? Which they- doesn't make sense. <laughs> this is a country bar. Yeah. And country people... They tend to be blue collar workers. That's true. So the blue collar <laughs> man cannot pay seventy dollars for a freaking meal. That's true. But see, that's because the way I look at it, I feel like that's a front. They try to bring the, yeah. the blue collar workers in there, yeah. or at least take the the image of that. But really, yeah. it's Vegas prices, Vegas strip prices. I, I that, that blows my mind to think about that. Seventy bucks. That was one drink. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. One soda. It yeah. wasn't, and mind you, this is not an alcoholic beverage. Yeah. Yeah. This is a soda. This is a Sprite and oh, two nachos. Oh, you're saying you didn't even get a drink drink. No, it was, no, it was one Sprite. How? And two nachos. I don't know now. Think about it. I'm like, Are wait. Are you sure that was the right I'm like, I, I, know, I know. I remember because I was very mad about it. I'm like, how did I spend 70 bucks at this restaurant? You sure they didn't give you the wrong receipt or something? Because that's crazy. No, because I believe the... Oh my goodness! Yeah, the nachos probably were like twenty five each. Yeah, well, but and see, that's appetizers. That's crazy, dude. That's crazy. Yeah, for that. I know. But see, that's one of the problems I think out here on the strip is like I feel like. Uh, and tell me what you think about this. See, prices have gone up everywhere, oh, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. But the va- the 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 strip. The Vegas Strip, I feel like it's tripled almost. Yeah. Some of the prices out there are even more than the average inflation. What's so sad about this is, and it still is to a, to an extent, yeah. but this was the town to, for anybody to come have a vacation in, no matter yeah. what tax bracket you're in. You know what That's I mean? true. Literally, you could come here with a thousand bucks and have the time of your life, or yep. you come here with a million bucks and have the time for your, of your life. Yep. And what I loved about it is that literally a millionaire can have as, as much as a ball yep. as a thousand air can. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's a good point. Yeah, because they did... I think when we came out here for the first time, when I lost all that money, mm-hmm. <laughs> around that time, you're right. Like, you could, like, just have a little bit of money. Mm-hmm. There was so many discounts oh, everywhere. Yeah. There were so many free shows. I miss you're it. You're right, man. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I do miss old Vegas, and I wasn't even yeah. part of that era. I know. And I just know I really... Because, okay, so yeah. you guys had been during that era. We so were. another thing is, too, is um, yep. just, like, how the things are going away. The I love like New York, New York. Oh, like uh, you're right. Planet Hollywood. Because if you notice, they all had things. Planet Hollywood was like supposed to be like the L.A. That's hotel. That's true. Yeah. The um, well, Egypt. Did... Oh, go ahead. Oh, one more time. Oh, uh, well, the is it Bali's? Bali's went away. No. Anyways, my bad. I, I can't remember which but, one. But um, but they uh, what what do they what do they take down? Well, Tropicana they're taking down. Tropicana there, yep. But I but also what I'm saying is they're not building hotels with themes no more. That's crazy. Because if you think about it, the newer hotels that open up Fountain Blue, yeah, it's just a modern hotel. That's true. Circus, I mean not Circus, Circa, yeah, it's just a modern, modern. hotel. That's a good versus point. they used to have things where Circus. Circus Circus, which yep. is a circus hotel. That's right. Uh, the New Egyptian, York. New York, New York, New York City. Yep. The Egyptian one. Luxor. Luxor. Yep. The, uh, yep. the Egyptian theme. Yep. Uh, Paris. Yeah. Paris theme. I didn't think about that, but you're right about they that. They had themes. Yeah. The, oh, and they took down the Aladdin. Did yeah. you guys see that? So we weren't there for the Aladdin, but mm-hmm. we, we did stay in, it's now the planet Hollywood, which has been for years. Mm-hmm. Right when it changed, oh, but we no. didn't see that though. But that's a good yeah, point too. Aladdin was one, Aladdin. yep. Or and then uh, Excalibur they still have, but uh, that one is like that's kind of run down. Excalibur's run like down. Like the Rio was, 
Oh, I yeah. think that was Mardi Gras thing. Uh, it was uh, not or Mardi Sa- Gras, uh, Carnival, uh, Carnival in Brazil. Oh, okay. In Brazil, oh, so okay. it was more like a Brazilian type. Yeah, I thought thing. they had like a big Mardi Gras uh, something, per- uh, probably just a parade they used to do inside there. Oh, okay. It, Car- now, Carnival and Mardi Gras, I mean, they look different, but they're, they're a big party. Oh, okay. So I wonder if that's maybe what you're thinking. Who knows? But but they, they did, yeah, the Rio, you're right. They're going to redo the Rio and stuff yeah. like that, too. But it's just they're That's taking, crazy. it's like Vegas is becoming this modern place now. And <laughs> uh, I'm really yeah. sad. I still love the city, 100%. Yep. But I just mix, I wish yeah. they were making hotels with themes still. I believe that yeah. brings character to it. Yeah, 100%. Like, yeah. I, yeah. honestly, one of my favorite hotels on the strip is yeah. New York, New York. Yeah. I love walking through it. Like, like how they have nice. these, like, you feel like you're in New York. Yeah. Honestly, not as authentic as being in yeah, New York, but that's the that's what they're trying to go after. So they have like the stone uh, mm-hmm. walkway and yeah. stuff like that, which mm-hmm. was really nice. And they have all these different the yeah. apartment buildings, like oh, walk through, yeah. like from side to side, and you're walking through, it's and true. all these restaurants and stuff of that sort. That's a good point. Yeah, I love it. I didn't I didn't think about that, but you're right. Yeah. They are getting rid of those things. Yeah, they get rid of things. That's hotel. actually crazy. And the reason for yeah. that is, I believe they're just going on some like uh, oh, yeah. they just think it's old, you know? Yeah, it's '90s or probably like because even. You know? Well, and you, well, you know who yeah. actually started and killed the themes. So I think it was Steve uh, Wynn, right? Yep. The Steve Wynn, Wynn. yeah. The, the Wynn Hotel. Yeah. They saw how much success that had, yeah. And they're like, "Oh, we're going modern." That's right. Oh, you're saying that's what started the modern? Yeah, place. yeah, yeah. Okay, because didn't uh, Steve Wynn? I believe he had something to do. I could be wrong with the flamingo, though. Like mm-hmm. he was the ones that he, that he. I believe he started. The big Vegas hotel trend. Oh yeah, uh-huh. but then I think you're right. He went modern. Well, well yeah, he went modern because his doesn't have a theme. His is yes. just modern luxury, you know. Gotcha. Versus everybody else had a certain theme to it. So let me ask you this: then, this like even Caesar Palace, the yeah. Roman Empire. Yeah, that's crazy. The Bellagio is supposed to show like, the <coughs> the Italian side yeah. or the Venetian. You're right. Because what they have the canals of what is it called? Oh, they have the uh, oh the Venetian has the uh, gondola. Yeah, the gondola. Yeah, which is supposed to be the canals of Venice. Venice. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yep. And now that you mention it, Mandalay Bay, I believe, and don't quote me on this, I think it has something to do with Hawaii. It is? I don't know. I would have never heard that. Well, I know they had, but they took down that. They had a Hawaiian marketplace oh, on the strip. Oh, did they? It was a Hawaiian, like, strip, a Hawaiian, like, uh, walkthrough. Oh, that's crazy. It was I called, the, it was a, yeah, I have to show you. It was a Hawaiian uh, thing. Yeah. I don't know parkers or not park, but area yeah. somewhere on the strip. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. And, and well, let me ask you this then. So does that change the way you feel about Vegas, like ongoing? Do you mm. think you're you're not gonna love it as much, or you think like you you embracing the change, or how are you feeling? Yeah, I love it. it. I still love it, but I'm just uh, yeah. just, just missing the golden days. <laughs> and the crazy part is I didn't even get to experience it. Yeah, I just watched so much of it, and I. Yeah, and I'm just like, man. But I know yeah. uh, Tropicana yeah. is about to be shut down. Yeah, and yeah. I would love to go there the last day and probably oh, yeah. live stream it. Oh, that's a good point. The and last, I, the say live streaming the last day of Fountain yeah. Tropicana being alive. And I think they blow them up. Mm-hmm. Don't they blow yeah, up they the buildings up. and stuff? Uh-huh. That'd be dope yeah, to because show. they're uh, taking. Uh, yeah. That's where the Las Vegas A's uh-huh. are going to be at. Yeah, that's, that's right. The ballpark. The ballpark, mm-hmm. right? That's right. Which we're taking from Oakland. Yeah. We're taking from the Bay Area. Because <laughs> no one likes the Bay. Everybody's <laughs> leaving the Bay. Which yeah. is the Raiders was Bay, right? The Raiders from Bay. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. I know. It's sad. It's everybody, li- literally, yeah. everybody left the Bay. <laughs> All the true. citizens who live here are from the Bay. Exactly. For, but for so you, for, <laughs> you guys have so much Bay pride. <laughs> but know. yet, I, I never <laughs> see no one stay there. That's because... <laughs> That's because the Bay is the innovator. No. They start things uh-huh. mm-hmm. and everyone else takes them. Mm-hmm. And I said, that. That's how it is. No, what I'm saying is, how oh. come I'm seeing so many Bay people move everywhere else? Literally, I hear everybody I talk to, oh, where are you from? Oh, I'm from the Bay. Yeah. I'm from the Bay. I'm from the Bay. It's the Bay is so beautiful. And everybody loves it. How come y'all don't stay in the Bay? It's because it's gone downhill, man. It's because the prices, <laughs> the strip prices, mm-hmm. are what the regular standard Bay prices are, which is crazy. Yeah. And that's the downside. But let me say this. Mm-hmm. So you're right. Uh, Oakland A's are coming here to Vegas. Yeah. Uh, so they left Oakland. Uh, the Oakland Raiders left Oakland to come over mm-hmm. uh, over there. And the Warriors used to play in Oakland, and they, and they left, left to go to San Francisco. Yeah. So I'm like, man, yeah. everyone's leaving no, Oakland. Oakland's not it. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Ah. they lost everything. But you yeah. know, it's how it is. That's yeah, how it, it is. Sucks. But I love it out here in Vegas. Yeah. I wouldn't change it. I do agree with you on the theme thing. I do wish they continued that because yeah. I like that idea. Yeah. 
But I, but but it's nice out here, man. Like imagine because yeah. like for nowadays you could make a yeah. social media theme hotel. Yeah. Or you know actually oh, that would be dope. You know yeah. it'll blow up. What I think would be really dope was that a Netflix and chill hotel, uh, and everything's themed around Netflix. Oh, that so, would like, be kind of dope. So all their biggest uh, yeah. TV shows, like they have rooms based off their biggest. Like Thirteen Reasons, well, I don't know. Uh, Thirteen Reasons Why yeah, is that a Netflix about, yeah, show? I'm pretty sure that is. I yeah. don't know. I'm pretty positive. But I'm just that, saying yeah. they have rooms dedicated to like yeah, the theme the of biggest that. shows, and it's like a, and then it's just like a movie, like a Netflix and chill. Dude, they could do a Black Mirror section, which mm-hmm. would go yeah, crazy. Like, that's a Netflix series. That's yeah. Netflix. Yeah. that would go crazy. Cause, yeah, Black Mirror. Section. So you could do a Netflix yeah. thing or a, what you call it a um yeah just a social media one yeah uh, thing. Yeah. You know what I think will be a lot uh, of like a Twitch theme uh, hotel. I believe like these are modern versions yeah. of what it, what What's I think these things these could days. be. You know, well especially now that you got like you know all this technology stuff like VR and stuff like mm-hmm. that, they could do a lot of really cool the things. A- with AI things. hotel that would be crazy. that would be nuts. What does that look like? You know what I'm saying? It's like Everything robots? robotic. <laughs> It's not even ran by humans. <laughs> An AI hotel. Dude, there's be crazy. nothing there. Imagine though, if that yeah. that will blow up. The yeah. first hotel where nothing is ran by a human. Dude, that well, just day to day. Yeah, uh, standard operations. Yeah, day to day operations. Somebody's like making sure yeah, everything's yeah. going. I wouldn't want to stay there, not yet. <laughs> not yet, because I'd be thinking like, are they gonna try to take over this hotel and keep me in my room? I don't know what they're gonna do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Thinking Terminator gonna happen? I don't know. Skynet. But uh, but yeah. yeah, man, I still like it. I think they do need to ramp it up and change yeah. some stuff and do something like that because mm-hmm. that would be really nice. Yeah. Yeah. I I, I definitely want to say like. Uh, definitely to your fam out there and stuff like that. If you guys ain't been to Vegas before and stuff like that, come out and visit because mm-hmm. it's it's beautiful out here. It's yeah, nice. It's it really is. nice, you know. But so. I know this video is getting long. I don't oh, want to yeah. hold you guys up. We're done eating. Yeah, yeah. I probably left because you know like, ain't no more food. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, Jamil, where can they find you guys at? All right, so you can find us on our channel. It's Kristen and Jamil. Kristen with uh, I N, so K R I S T I N and Jamil. Uh, you can find us on YouTube. Uh, we're on TikTok and we're also on Facebook. And make sure you guys follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok. All is at Check that the Z-A-D-D-Y-C-H-U-N-K, C-H-U-N-K. But Z-C-C family, as we all know, the grind never stops until the Z-C-C gang is on top. Let's get it!